Why was the business of a sole proprietor near the so-called Kirpa bridge over the Dnieper ruined? Another crime is arranged to hide the previous one. Where did the railway administration place the money assigned to him as compensation? Every budget estimation includes expenses related to compensation. Exclamation mark is on air on channel TVI, and we continue the program. Strategic building projects are bottomless feeding source for corrupted officials which utilize the state money. They steal here not only by overstating of works and services cost, and not only by purchasing without a tender on tripled price based on non-competitive procedure with one participant. The separate sphere for large-scale plundering is the foreseen in the budget compensations for demolition of objects that got into the zone of a large-scale construction. One businessman from Capital appealed to exclamatory sign for help, as his business, in fact, fell victim to such large building project, the so-called Darnitsa Railway Motor Car Transition Bridge, widely known as Kirpa Bridge over the Dnieper. To erect this building, more than 10 years and a huge amount of money, over 9 billion grivnas, was spent. However, the automobile showroom and the car care center of our guests appeared on the way of the enormous bridge. The successful business that was operative and employed many people was simply destroyed because the leaders of the Southwest Railway that built the bridge decided not to pay the indemnification assigned to him. It was an investigation by Anna Kibinok in what method and why. The building of the century, the so-called Kirpa Bridge, was unofficially named after the ex-Minister of Transport Railroader Georgi Kirpa, who became the godfather of this project and afterwards committed suicide under very enigmatic circumstances. Officially, it is the Darnitsa Railway Motor Car Transition Bridge. With two railways, six stripes for the auto transport, it is a very important for the country state infrastructural project, which cost over 9 billion of greenness. 9 billions is more than a billion of United States dollars. This amount is named by the government today. A few years ago, this amount was twice less, i.e. 4 billion. 800 million grivnas. Why is such huge difference and where do the budgetary funds go to? Multi-million state projects are always intrigues, secrets and corruption charts. So the basic version of death of ex-minister of transport Georgi Kirpa is related to the debts, as the money allocated by the state for building of a new bridge in Kyiv were actually spent by that time, but it is still unknown in what way up to the present time. The construction works were not held, everything was on hold. Only in 2007 the budget financing of the Kirpa Bridge was activated. As it appeared, those who were very close to the plate with billions got great appetite. To use the state money was possible both from transactions with building materials and from payments to the foreign building companies. However, the easiest way it is to earn on payments of necessary compensations to the habitants and businessmen whose land plots and property fall under demolition due to the large-scale building project realization. In order to hide the evidence, officials came to absurd lawlessness and gross violations of human rights. The Kyiv businessman Mikola Ivanenko knows it well. The man had his own successful business, automobile showroom and repair station, four capital buildings, two and a half hectares of land, over 200 employees, stable salary and regular taxes. However, two years ago the company was forced to stop working. It appeared on the way to building of the motor car upshot of the Darnitsa Bridge. Construction of the Kirpa Bridge is the governmental program. One of the principal items of expenses in the project foreseen was reimbursement of losses to private proprietors and land users or to the proprietors of land plots. The government foresaw 750 million grivnis for this. In 2007, the compensation payment to enterprises in the so-called construction zones was reconsidered. However, other events took place. Instead of compensation, all business was terminated. Excavators arrived, machines with ferrous indents crumbled the tons of concrete and cut metallic armature. Scoops collected the ruined construction. Warehouses instantly turned into building garbage. It is shocking, but Mikola has never got any compensation for the ruined buildings. This money is used by the head of the South Western Railway Administration, not on purpose. He simply stole the funds. Using the admin resource, he missed law enforcement authorities as well as the cabinet of ministers of Ukraine, reporting to them 
that allegedly this building was built in 2008-2009, obtained the illegal decisions of courts. Here is the order of Economic Court of Kyiv in the obligation of this territory proprietor, who is the debtor of executive production, concerning the demolition of the willfully built-up facilities. In order not to compensate money for destruction of one successful business, the Southwestern Railway Administration used tricks and legal manipulations, as Ivanenko is convinced. For many years, a legally operating enterprise, suddenly upon court's decision, has become illegal. Consequently, it has been ruined without a copy for a compensation. Perhaps in such case, the compensation money was used for another purpose. It may have got into the pockets of railway officials or those who got bribes. There are two decisions of courts, which consider this building illegal. If we, according to Ivanenko, had to pay in 2007 or 2008 indemnifications for this building, it is 2011 now. There is a decree stating that this building is illegal. Then whom this question arouses up to? Not to Ivanenko in this case, but on the basis of what we could pay this indemnification. Volodymyr Chekmarov heads the institute that makes the general layout of the city development. Exactly this program contained all buildings of the city that would prevent construction of the motor car junctures of the Kirpa Bridge. Among them was Ivanenko's firm. After demolition, the businessman had to get the envisaged compensation. Director of the DE Kyiv Gen Plan is convinced. Those documents which we provided, I consider proved for compensation. The juncture is huge. Correspondingly, compensation must be performed. Why were buildings and land plots named illegal? Let's ask the officials of Architectural and Building Control Inspection. Exactly this organization addressed the court in relation to demolition of building as considered to be willfully erected. Permissive documentation, confirmed by the Kyiv Municipal Council many years ago, now doesn't interest anybody. Inspection of state building control in Kyiv with its all plenary powers was created in 2008. I didn't see those documents, I cannot assert that they existed. This is a decree that is valid today. It is not appealed. It has legal force. We show permission on implementation of construction works to the director of organization that designs highways, including auto junctures to the Kirpa Bridge. This permission is fully valid. It is issued only legally when the land is allocated and there is project and budget documentation which is coordinated with all the bodies concerned. The Southwestern Railway Administration constantly tried to tangle state structures and judicial establishments so that those admitted the businessman activity illegal. For this purpose, they introduced unreliable data in the documentation. In key documents, it is specified that Ivanenko built the business facility in 2008-2009, when the project of bridge construction over Dnieper already existed. However, businessman denies this fact and calls it sheer lie. He opened a firm in 1996, and then there was no plan to build a bridge. We found a video where the mayor of Kyiv, Mr. Amilchenko, solemnly cuts the ribbon opening the company of Mr. Ivanenko. The video is made in the 90th and not in 2000 years. On these pictures it is evident from the helicopter that the year of building construction doesn't coincide with the version of railway administration. However, the Economic Court of Kyiv didn't pay any attention to all these facts. The right of ownership is supported by this court decision for 2004. The officials, judges and public prosecutors don't pay attention to it. In fact, an opposite judicial sentence appears in 2012, that all buildings are built illegally. Obviously, this decision became possible due to the order of the Cabinet of Ministers that surprisingly appeared in the materials of the case. This document is direct pressure on the Themis. How could the internal document of the Cabinet of Ministers, signed by Mikola Azarov, that specifies the necessity to terminate all existent agreements with the businessman, appear in the materials of the case? Whether it is pressure on the judge or a guarantee for the judge, as if he has to issue the decision which has already been decided. We go to find the truth to the Office of Public Prosecutor with the next statement. On the one hand, the Office of Public Prosecutor states that it's the property. On the other hand, the Public Prosecutor says it's a willfully built facility. How can it be? 
its introduction of primarily invalid information into the documents, which is a crime. Sometimes they try to defend themselves with court's decision. Public prosecutors didn't have a desire to intermingle with journalists personally. They answered in writing. It is considered that this resolution is detailed enough and is able to give an answer to your questions. Unfortunately, our representative now is at the court and was not able to comment online. Why the Office of Public Prosecutor and Court close eyes on facts that specify the facts of violation of businessmen rights and plundering of state funds? We searched for the answer among the well-informed workers of Southwest Railway with long-term experience. We were told that all proofs of corruption charts of Southwest Railway has already got to corresponding instances long before. Isn't it unreal to prove the facts of plunder during bridge construction? Huge project. Isn't it possible to find some confidential documents? They all have them. All documents are present at the CRA and in tax inspection. There is no command attack. As soon as there is such command attack, it's enough documentation at the tax inspection, at the police, at SSU, at prosecution office, at CRA. The railroader, who told us the truth in a hidden place, asked for a notebook and open suddenly. On the paper he wrote a figure – one million three hundred thousand dollars. Exactly so much the South West Railway spends for legal services of a company to perform all judicial routing with the Turkish firm Dogus. This organization executed construction works during building of the Darnica Bridge. And the railway administration didn't pay properly to these foreign builders. The Turkish, in the end, reached Strasbourg court, where today they defend their rights, hoping to seize money that the Ukrainian customers owe them. Mykola Ivanov also intends to address the European court. He says that he will go to the end. In fact, he doesn't want to be the little victim of really necessary to the state large building projects, but also those which were used by crooked officials to steal millions of greenness. Exclamation mark is live on Channel TVI. The guests of the program are businessman Mikola Ivanov, whose business fell a victim of such large-scale building project as Darnica Bridge, and also Vyacheslav Konovalov, an expert of public company Evropatrol, who carefully investigates all large-scale building projects during last several years. Good evening, Mr. Mikola. Tell us, which will be your next step in the search of justice in all this story of ruining of once successful business, or it has already stopped? This story hasn't yet ended. The thing is, I am very thankful to your program that you were not afraid and tried to openly reveal all plundering which exists at such huge building site of the nationwide scale. We have only suspicions about plundering. We can suspect, but no talking about facts. In due time, I officially addressed the police and got the following answer. During the check-up, it was determined that in correspondence to the project of obtaining of estimate calculations of 2007, it is foreseen that to resolve property questions, it is pre-arranged to pay indemnification to the society. For today, the monetary resources of the South West Railway are spent for the other necessities and without a special purpose. Taking into account the aforesaid, the signs of crime are observed in the actions of officials of the South West Railway, foreseen in Article 364 of the Criminal Code of Ukraine. I brought the Criminal Code for Alexei Mefodievich Krivopishin. Let him read and find the answers to all crimes committed with regards to my company. What will you do further? There are answers, but no criminal case. Your business is absolutely ruined. What are your further steps? I will ask the Prime Minister Mykola Azarov to pay attention to this situation, which is created by Krivopishin artificially. I think that Alexei Mifodievich lied to Mykola Yanovich. 
However, yet the Premier wrote a letter that helped to ruin your business, vice versa. The distance is huge between you and the Prime Minister. The thing is, when the checkups started, and it was January 2012, I learned that Mykola Yanovich Azarov assigned this procedure to Anistratenko, the first deputy of the Secretary Office Head of the Cabinet of Ministers. I called his reception office. There I was kindly connected to Mr. Lansky. These are all details. What will you concretely do? I will address Azarov to draw his attention to the matter to make all things fair. That person who stole money, who made losses to the state, should go to prison, as it's not fair. It's shameful before others. How is it possible? The person committed a theft and he is protected. He stole from prosecutors, policemen, judges. He stole from everybody on this construction. How was it possible to spend money for a non-existing object in 2010? That's what they prepared, the so-called burying presentation album. One billion, sixty million thousands were spent for the object, which doesn't exist. This is the chart of cash disbursement. It is serious. Vyacheslav, it is clear that every large project which construction is conducted on state money doesn't do without corruption, which is not yet criminal. What is known about such item of expenses in this project? I mean the Darnitsa Bridge. What indemnification for destruction of objects that got in the zone of construction was provided in this or that way? What was prepaid? Well, I'll say the next. The Darnitsa Bridge, in fact, was opened 15 times. Each time a crowd of journalists and officials came and presentations were arranged. And each time it was accentuated that on the right and the left banks everything will be compensated to the owners for the build juncture and each time the figure of 100 million is named. It seems on the right bank everyone got the compensation and it is unknown what is on the left bank. I was always worried by the question why everything is slowed down on the left bank, why nothing is done. Why the junctures are not built? Everything was immovable up to this year. The fact is the money was stolen. Pay attention to the year 2006, which is referred to by Vasily Gladkich. For eight months the construction was stopped, that's why railway incurred half a million losses. If at the beginning the cost was 4.8 billion, now it's almost 7 billion. According to the head of the Southwestern Railway Krivopishan, the resolving of the problems with land needs assistance of Kyiv Municipal State Administration. And how can Municipal State Administration influence the process when 550 million grivnies were simply sent somewhere? These are huge losses. It seems that Lux Express doesn't allow to build. We never prohibited anything. We often offered to make a commission and determine the losses. That is why the juncture on the left bank was so long not built. The truth was there were no resources to finish it. Why the project was so long term and so costly? If it was built by Donetsk Altcom, it would be built very fast. In this case, not Donetsk company was building, therefore there were certain detentions. And up to now, this complex is not yet put into operation. Moreover, everyone is constantly talking about its importance, necessity and so on. It is a great complex. It is not limited by one bridge. There is a railway juncture not fully built on the right bank. It was considered that there would be a certain infrastructure near this Darnitsa railway station. This means that the whole complex is not yet finished and not under exploitation, thus brings no profit. 
Mr. Mikola, thank you. We hope that you will nevertheless find the truth in these bodies. Perhaps it will be the Prime Minister who will help, or it may be solved on some other level. I think that thanks to your program, I will nevertheless be heard in the Cabinet of Ministers, and the embezzler of state property will go to prison.